Hi everyone, I'm Flora Pastorero. And I am Carrie Perry. And this is Chick to Chick. Day is coming up pretty quickly here. Mm -hmm. So we thought we would um, use this episode to talk about being moms. Um, we have many hats. Uh, we both have worked and had careers and whatnot. But from my perspective, I think the most important job I ever had was being a mom. How about you? Oh, 100%. It's the hardest job. It's also the most rewarding job. Um, yeah, there's no other job that you could potentially do that would meet the criteria of all the things. Therapist, nurse, <laughs> cook, housekeeper, Chauffeur. taxi. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> get them all in Honestly, there. Honestly, it's, it's just a, such an amazing task. Um, yeah, you just are never prepared for it. I mean, were you prepared for it? I, no, 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 no. I mean, I think you, you think you're prepared for it yeah. and then that baby arrives and then you go uh, what do i do with this yeah they don't come with an instruction no. manual i had no idea but i i know that my child is the most important thing to me um at the end of the day at the end of my life i want to know that i was a good mom a good parent um you know you win awards you have these great accomplishments but to me I think the best thing is when somebody comes up to me and says you know your son is so polite he's so kind he's such a hard worker and to me I'm like yes yeah. like that to me is the most important thing mm -hmm. on the face of the earth when somebody says something and compliments my child I just am like yes oh absolutely because our children act certain ways in our homes. That's like their safety net, right? That's where they can be not the best people, the people that we don't yeah. always like, right? Yeah. But when you know that when they go out of the house, that what you've given them, what they've learned, who they are, that's where they really blossom, that to me is fantastic. Because then you, you know they're safe being home, being you know not the best human all the time, just like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. When they show themselves to the outside world who they really, really are, that's when it's like, okay, I think I might have gotten this thing. I think we might have done okay. Yeah, and I think, too, that how they act and how they behave out in public and how they treat other yeah. people, I view that as a reflection of me as a parent. And yeah. I'm sure you feel the same way, how your daughters Absolutely. act. It's a reflection on you. So if they're misbehaving publicly, I'm like... That's just, a reflection yeah. on me. What did I do wrong? But by the same token, when they're doing something positive, I'm mm -hmm. thinking, yes, I did something right. Because you make mistakes as a parent. Some things you get right. Absolutely. Some things you screw up mm -hmm. and you just learn day by day. Do you do you admit, you know, one of the, if, if you know that you just did something where you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm just sorry. I shouldn't have said or done. Yes. I know I've done that. Yes, absolutely. I think that makes for a really good parent. Absolutely. I make mistakes all the time. I mean, every day, I think situations come up that you don't really know how to handle, yeah. and you're just sort of trying to figure it out. Yeah. I mean, you've had a lot of practice here. <laughs> yes. You've had a lot of practice with all those kids. I only have one, and yeah. so every day, every year, every stage of their life, there are new challenges that arise, and you just got to figure it out. And I think we're both doing okay, yeah. but you know what? I want to hear from the source. Are I you sure? I, I think I do. I feel like a little nervous. You have one source. I have three sources. So guaranteed, if one doesn't hit something, the other one will. I think you're going to be okay. <laughs> Me? I don't know. I want to hear what our chicklets have to say about All us. All right. Okay. All I'm right. good. I'm ready for it. Okay. Okay. So you've heard from the chicks uh, and how we view motherhood. So now we've brought our chicklets to join us here <laughs> on the couch. This is my chicklet, Sean. Sean's 20 years old. This is my little, little chicklet, Shay, and she's 12 and a half, and we're missing two chicklets. Where are your other two chicklets? Okay, so one of the chicklets is in Spain, and we're gonna hear from her in just a minute, and Sam is close to Sean's age, actually. She's 20. And then Peyton is still in um, college, and she's kind of getting ready for her finals. So, yeah, she's a, she's a freshman. 
busy, busy. And what we're hearing in the background is Samantha. Uh, Sam, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Where are you, Sam, right now? You're in the middle of where? I'm in the middle of Spain on a train. You're in the middle of Spain on a train. That almost sounds like a Dr. <laughs> Seuss rhyme. It is. I'm on a train <laughs> in the middle Spain. of Spain. Okay, Sam, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Your mom's right. sitting here, and she can hear everything, but I am asking you to be brutally honest. Is she a good mom? Is she a bad mom? What do you like about her, and what don't you like about her? Oh, gosh. She's a great mom. I mean, she's the most supportive mom, sometimes to a fault when she is a little overprotective, but, oh, my gosh, I feel so safe and secure and loved in her hands she's absolutely wonderful that's me and encourages me to do everything i want to do and more i just said i couldn't ask for a better mom that's wonderful Aww. okay so what does she do to annoy you and come on sam that be honest here longer. you're on that train <laughs> in the middle of spain you got to oh, be gosh. honest well you know she is a she, sometimes she does talk a lot does she talk to her living but you know that if that's a worse thing then that's fine. That's <laughs> it? That's all you got? That she talks too much? Come on, Sam. Sure. She knows that she has more traveling on. to do. You can just got to be some money connected. <laughs> She's being generous. Come on, Sam. What else? She talks too much. Honest. What else? I mean, let's see. I don't even know. I don't have anything bad to say because I haven't seen you in so long. I, <laughs> she forgets. I just, good. <laughs> I'm not exactly <laughs> missing you. Then I, I bet if you ask me this in August when I'm home for a month I'd have a long time she'll she'll be annoying you by then my goodness she's a she's a great mom thank you sweetie that's very nice Aww. that's very nice I know we're kind of cutting in and out because she's literally on a train, train in Spain, in the middle of Spain. <laughs> and we um, did visit her as a family and it was oh, I said, fantastic well we all have our, our annoyances when we're in close quarters <laughs> with each other but we found I that just out when you're traveling nothing but good things to say she's a great mom so yeah. That's very sweet. Yeah. Aww, I miss you, sweetie. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> Bye, Sam. Bye, love you. Oh, we. Bye, Sam. See you. Okay, so we heard from Sam, who was on a train in the middle of Spain, and that's why her audio was uh -huh. a little crazy but technology is so wonderful that but we got her yeah your Aww. kids are away and you I can know. still okay still chat with them all right so now i'm in the hot seat so you get to ask <laughs> mike chicklet about me and i'm right next to you all right, I'll, so be I'll unlike nice. sam which was sam was far far away right. i'm right here right. and i got this <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you know, because I have so many children, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of different parts of my personality that come out with each kid, right? Mm -hmm. But you, son, you're by yourself. Lucky so me. you get them all, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So I want to know, what's a personality trait of your mother's oh, that geez. you just adore and <gasps> one that you're like, and I'm leaving? <laughs> Well, I mean, she's always there for me. She always cares about me. She's always checking in. So I definitely like that. But sometimes it can be too much. And sometimes it can be annoying. But I know that it's in her heart that she cares about me. So I love her for it. Aw. And, you know, as you get closer to being, um, you know, you're still always going to be parent and child. But there's a certain part where you can have a fun friendship in some capacity sometimes. So if you look at her as like the friend fun Flora, what would be something that you enjoy about your mom? <laughs> <laughs> I love the on the spot. Um. Wow, he's struggling I with know. this. Are you telling me you don't enjoy I mean, anything you're about always, me? You're always great to be around, but. <laughs> but? <laughs> Wait a minute, there's not supposed to be a but. There's just supposed to be you're great to be around. Yeah, Period. You're great to be around. She, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Hold on. I need to like. You're good. You're good. So, hold on. I mean, you guys have had, you've had trips together because you were just abroad. Yeah. You know, I know that your parents will go and visit you and do things. So what are those times where, you know, you're, you're literally enjoying and seeing a fun personality out of mom and just not the mom part. You know, the part like that I get to see too, you know? Well, something we like to do together is travel a lot. When I was growing up, I never really asked for gifts or anything tangible. I didn't really care about video games. I just wanted to see places. So my mom always gave me the gift of like showing me the world and seeing places. So that was always a great um, opportunity to see things and I'll always cherish that. Yeah. I love good. that. Yeah. We had great trips. Yeah, when you weren't being annoying, but otherwise it was fun. 
love that's it. That's my job. <laughs> That's my job to be in. I'm good, good at it. Thank you. Yeah, don't Thank you, you hear her voice in your head? Because I guarantee my kids hear my voice. Yes, no, I do, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> day and night, night and day. But that's my job. That yeah. my, it's because I care. I know. I love you. Okay, I love you too. Aww. Aww. That was a sweet Aww. moment. Did you see he was turning red there? He was he getting was. a little nervous. It was adorable. I know. He wanted to do right by you, Mom. He loves you. He was scared, is he what was he nervous. was. nervous. Yeah. Yeah. I, I you understand. You call it that. nervous, I say scared. Uh huh. Yeah. How about, how about you, little chicklet? Now you get to. Shay. Mm hmm. You always Shay. talk to <laughs> Shay. Be honest. What do you like about your mom? You don't know? <laughs> no. You've had 12 and a half years to think about it. <laughs> what do you like, like about your mom? about it. Well, so do you, do you, what are the things that you like, you and I like to do together that we have fun with? Lacrosse. Mm -hmm. I like yelling at you sometimes in lacrosse. Oh, you do? You do. You like flinging the ball at me really hard. Yes. What is it that I taught you to do that we have a lot of fun doing together? Are you really... It involves the winter time. Skiing. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Yeah. With well, I snowboard now. Yeah. Do you think that now that you're the only one in the house, that it's more fun with me, or <laughs> am I like hovering all over you too much? I don't know. No? Sometimes you hover over me too much. Yeah. Sometimes you don't. All right. That means she all loves right. you. What? What are the? What? What's like the best part of your mom? What's the best part? When you think of your mom, when you lay down at night and you think, oh, my mom is... I don't know. <laughs> Same. <laughs> right? Don't encourage Why her. Why is it so easy don't for them to her? ask about something they want to buy on Amazon in a nanosecond, <laughs> but when you have to say what you like about your mom, they're like, uh, cricket. <laughs> Pretend that there's something on Amazon that is me no. and you're going to buy it. <laughs> no. I think it's tough. I think it's really tough when you're trying to figure out things about your parent because you go through, you know, so many things that are struggle and like, I want to rip their head off. And then things you know you cannot live without them because you cannot live without me. But doesn't that work for us as well? Yeah. I mean, there are moments, uh, we always love our kids. You love them no matter what. But there mm -hmm. are moments when you're like, I don't like you right now. Mm -hmm. And I it's not that. that I don't. <laughs> it's, <laughs> It's not that you don't like you don't like their behavior is what I like to say. I Absolutely. don't like how you're behaving mm -hmm. at this moment, mm -hmm. and please leave because <laughs> I don't like what you're doing. But that doesn't mean you ever stop loving them. Never. And so I think they feel the same way about us. I'm sure they love us no matter what. But there are times when they're like, I don't like you right now, mm -hmm. and I think that's normal. I think that's normal. You're coming into the I don't like you right now phase. You'll get there, sadly. The, so, of the girls, uh, of our daughters, I would say that um, the one that we're going to talk to next, who's still in college too, it, she and I are the most alike, and um, you'll get some oh. you'll get some fun responses from that Peyton. Yeah, do you think she'll be more verbal than this one? Absolutely. Because I know this one talks nonstop. So why are you not talking right now? That's what I want to know. I that's, don't her, know. that's her favorite. That's her line. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. We're okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fine. Should we call your sister? Yeah. And see yeah. what she has to say? Yeah. Okay, let's okay, call your sister. Do that one. Okay. <laughs> we're going to talk to your other chicklet. I hope she's nicer today. Peyton <laughs> is on the phone. Uh, she's still at school. Yeah, she uh, is finishing up her freshman year at Penn State Altoona. Hi, Peyton. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So Mother's Day is coming up, and I want you to think really long and hard about this. Okay. What do you think of your mom? What do you like about her? Oh, man. I, okay, this is going to get a little sappy, but I love my mom so much. She's literally like me. I, I, I'm more, I'm her, if we'll put that correctly. And um, I don't know. She's just so strong and, like, a really great, like, influence in my life and I feel like I look up to her so much even though we fight all the time that's because we're the same person but I mean if we're being honest though like she's like my best friend that is so sweet Aww, thanks, that's so too bad my son didn't say something like that she just said that 
Her mom was her I best mean, friend. honestly, it's because we're the you're same person. Friend. So <laughs> I like to do your Sean. You're my good what? friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sean goes, you're my good yeah. friend. I'm not his best friend, yeah. but I am his good friend. That was really sweet. Okay, now be really, really honest here, Peyton. Okay. All what right. What don't you like about your mom? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see. I'm just kidding. Um, um, her temper sometimes. However, oh, temper. that's yeah, partially my fault. Who isn't going to scream at her? Wait, wait, did you hear that? Let She's you... taking the blame. She said it's partially her <laughs> fault. Do tell. However, then that kind of... Do tell, Peyton. Then that, that kind of then goes back on her because I am like her. So I have a temper like she does. So when we fight. It's her fault. Mm, I might I might regret saying that. But <laughs> 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 it, well, we Peyton, do we not more often than not laugh after we fought? Oh, because definitely. It's like we're fighting with the person in the mirror. Oh, definitely. You'll you'll just go. Why are you so much like me? And then it's done. It's your mini me. She is my mini me. I, I am. thought this one was your mini no. me. No, Peyton oh. is my mini me. Peyton is your mini me. <laughs> yes, Peyton's. But she's yeah. she is a she's an awesome mom, isn't she? Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, I've seen her with the three of you. I know the truth, Peyton. Thank you, Patsy. Thanks, You're Peyton. Welcome. Can I say what your nickname is? Oh, I guess so. She. I always called her my Wooby. She's your. She's my Wooby. And what's this one? Um, she has squirrel. so many nicknames. I don't even know if I can keep them all straight. But squirrel. Squ she's squirrel. Yeah. She's um, squirrel. Sam didn't really have one necessarily. Yeah. Um, well, no, I never really called her that. That's kind of her spirit, one of her spirit animals. But Peyton's always been my Wooby, and for you know a long time, you know, when you're growing up and you're like, don't call me that. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but now you've embraced it, haven't you? Oh, I have. She loves it. Well, this is my boo. <laughs> is that your He's boo? All my, always Aww. been my boo. Oh, yeah, to embrace that, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's still, this is my boo. This is my boo. Aww, All right. I love it. Thanks, Peyton. Thank Bye, you. Peyton. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Bye, honey. Well, if you want to be able to share anything with us, I mean, even if it's something that just happened with our kids, my gosh, we would love to hear from you. That's what this is all about. So you can get to us by chick to chick at penwatch.org. And really, we want to hear from you. We want to know what you think, right? Yeah, we're all over social media too. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all over the place. Yes. Um, we got the good, the bad, and the ugly from our kids. We sure did, but you know what? I feel pretty good. I feel pretty loved. Do you feel pretty loved? I'm not so sure right <laughs> now. I mean, I know he loves me. He loves I know you. he loves me. I think he was a little nervous. Yeah. I think I, he, I put think him he on was on the spot. Yeah. My chicklets were our blah, 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 except yeah. for that one. Yeah, that the one little, little I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. She doesn't know anything. It's the way it is. Hey, to all of the moms out there, a very happy Mother's Day. Yes. Um, my hat is off to every mom yeah. out there. As Carrie said, we're cook, clean, chauffeur, therapist, nurse, teacher, the whole nine yards. It's the hardest job on the face of the sure earth, is. but my goodness, it's so rewarding, isn't it? It sure is. Happy Mother's Day to all of you out there. Happy Mother's Day.